Well, there's someone at the door. I'll be back. And welcome to AmiPal, the number one place on the internet for the sweetest Amiga content. Now, I was watching an episode of Red Letter Media the other day, one of their review episodes, and they went back through Total Recall. And it got me thinking, what Arnie games are available for the Amiga? There are more than you think. Um, let's find out which one is the answer to what is best in life. Um, and see which ones we need to say has to La Vista Baby too. Let's crack on. First game we're going to try is Predator, based on John McTiernan's fantastic film with the same title. Does that look anything like Arnie? Well, the body does. Okay, so we've got a relatively nice intro that we'll repeat over and over again. So I'll press fire to try and get through it. I'm actually going to turn it down slightly, I think. That's a bit more comfortable. I'm pressing fire, by the way. I am pressing fire. I'm just trying to work out. Space bar! Of course it is. Anyway, we go straight into the game. You'll notice it's got a timer in the top right hand corner there. Here's our helicopter come down, quite impressive size on the screen. And it disgorges our troops onto the battlefield. Now this is graphically a very basic game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this is what all the other versions look like you know, the 8-bit systems, etc. But here we are. You notice I've, I'm armed with an M16. Whoa! Okay, that didn't work. What I was trying to do there was throw a grenade, uh, which is done by spacebar, so it's a bit of a stretch to get that lined up. Oh no, my troops! Now this is quite a nice thing. Bring it in from the film. Now we can swap guns. What this gives me over the other one, I'm not really sure, but it does mean that I have some ammo. What you can't do is go back the way you came, so you really have to make sure you're picking up the weapon that you want and you're not dropping something. I have to waste my ammo on these bats or birds or whatever they are because they yeah, see, they will knock you down. When you do run out of ammo in this game, um, oh no, corpses! They do spray quite wildly, these guys. And there's nowhere to hide either, so, you know. You know some... I'm quite far down health-wise already. I'm not going to get very far in this. Um, yeah, there's no ammo pickups other than what you find on your dead troops. Um, you can't pick anything up off the enemy. Um, the enemy start firing before you even see them. And there's our disappointed looking... I can't remember his name. Dutch. <laughs> there's Dutch. Very nonplussed. Uh, with... Oh, I mean, how many colours on the screen here? Eight? 
eight colors we, we can do better you know this is quite an early game i think but um let's move on it's time for red heat it's another ocean game the first one wasn't ocean but this is an ocean one ocean synonymous with film licenses quite a funky tune Red Heat. Red Heat, of course, is a, an Arnie film with also Jim Belushi. So you know it's going to be good, right? Oh dear. Anyway, here he is telling us what we need to do. Extract information from Russian drug dealers to locate Victor Rostovili. It's in the sauna, which gives us this wonderful widescreen beat-em-up. Which is quite a nice, uh, quite, something quite different, isn't it? I'm, I'm basically just punching and punching, and punching here. You can do this so you don't get hit by whatever they're throwing on my head there. And you do get different enemies. These, these are just standard punchy guys. There's someone's ass. Oh. Uh, they're throwing hot stones at me. So is that guy. He looks a bit like Sly Stallone, actually. Is it interesting? Yeah, this might be the only me game that I know of where you have um, almost completely naked people trying to beat you up. And throw stones at you. Stop it, Sly. There you go, I'm a punch in the face. Um, as I said at the start, it's an interesting wide angle kind of letterbox format for this. Um, I think it works quite well actually, because it allows you to have this really big, really big um, object for Arnold. You know, it actually looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger which you can't really say that about Predator, can you? And you think this music would get annoying, but I'm not annoyed yet. And this is only the first level, bear in mind. I don't know what comes up after this, whether it's more punching. I expect it's just more of the same. Just, I mean, I'm effectively standing in the middle of the screen, hammering fire and occasionally <laughs> getting hit by throwing stones. Um, I want that banana, really. Oh! In the face! In the face! Yeah, the other guys have a few more tactics, but um, these ones just tend to walk at you. Um, I'm not overly impressed with this as a game, but I, I, I do like the fact that, you know, it is Arnie on the game, you know, we're not getting just some random beefcake's face um, as we did in Predator earlier. Ah, see, so you pick up the bottle, you get some health. Now, what's this? Some kind of hot stone test. I'm hammering fire here. One more pad. You can probably hear more of the pad than anything else here. What happens when we get it to the top? Oh no, I'm running out of steam here. This is the most fascinating mini game you've ever seen. Let's definitely get my uh, heart rate up. Yes, I do no exercise and so I play Red Heat to make sure that my blood moves around my body. Not for the sauna scene, you understand. Just this. Just this. Oh, forget it. Running Man is one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's best films. And let's see if this is one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's best games. It's 
got a good intro. I mean, look at that. Brilliant. That's what you want to see in a film license, isn't it? Not so much that. That looks all right. Okay, let's get into the game. I quite like this kind of almost rotoscope style. Oh, here we go. Rotoscope style um, frame thingy. Anyway, we're loading. Uh, there are four um, kind of bosses to fight against in this, but we need to get there first. Oh, I made it! And so we get up onto these boxes, onto these shelves. Um, you know, it's a nice sprite. Oh, wow, first time. Um, one thing I will say is it's not immediately obvious on here what is um, the background or foreground, what you can and cannot jump onto. Get the dog! This is Stalker, I think. And here I am. I can't remember his uh, character in it, actually. His character's title. Where's that dog gone? Oh, it... Oh, no! Now, this is actually the first I've ever got on this game because the controls are so naff that... Oh, I got him down. What, what is this? Oh, the dog got me. Oh, maybe we have to crawl under that. Um, yeah, the controls are so naff that you have to run to be able to jump, but it's like a double move. Yeah, I can't stand up when the things are there. Oh. Yeah, guess what? I'm down. That's that's the running man. Um, I don't recommend it. And we move on to Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I will say one thing. There's Terminator 2, the arcade game, which is a good game. I will say that now, it's a good game. But, you don't see Arnie in it. So, for, for this competition, for this episode, we shan't be looking at T2, the arcade game. We're going straight into Terminator 2, Judgment Day. What a surprise! It's Ocean! That's quite a nice introduction to the game as well. Um, again, if they'd used like something like ham, that would have been quite nice. My nice smooth gradients, but uh, they just went with standard power mode. Do get these nice um, animated sections. This must have loaded really fast from uh, from floppy disk. <laughs> yeah, see, now there's a proper Arnie. That's all right, there. Okay, so it's going back through. I just thought I'd show you that because, um, you know. Yes, I'm clicking fire now. And it gets straight into it. You'll notice how smooth it is, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, we could both do that. Now I did much better than the other time I played this. It's... 
this, this kind of operates a bit like um, Batman the movie, in that you, different levels you do different things. In this one, I'm beating up um, T-1000 at the beginning of the, the film, where Arnie's just turned up to rescue John Connor from the arcade, from the mall, with his pain in the ass friend. But yeah, I'd be interested actually to, to see if this is just as smooth on, on just a standard 500. Obviously I've got an accelerated 1200 here, but that shouldn't make a difference to a double HD load game like this. I've been terminated. Um, very smooth. We go again, because I did much better the other day when I played this, and it seems a shame not to get onto the next level. But yeah, um, each level... Each level is kind of a, a different thing. I don't know if we get more beat-em-up sections like this, but the, the next one is pretty good. It's like an escape scene where you've got the, the storm drain and you're trying to keep ahead of uh, T-1000 in the in the truck, in the, the lorry. I'll say truck because it's, uh, you know, it's in America. It's in one of those LA storm drains, isn't it? Yeah, have that. Too close to fire. I don't know if there's any kind of block on this. I haven't found one. Just work the gut. Kick his face off. It. Okay, so that's the first level. On, on we move. Here we go. See, nice and smooth game. Oh no. Yeah, this this is absolutely, I never expected this to be quite, oh no. <laughs> I shouldn't really talk, maybe I'll get further. It's a very smooth game, I'm quite surprised. Um, I think this is probably one of the good ones, you know, I've, I've been quite downbeat on the other so far, but T2, yeah, it might be worth your time. And now we move on to the game that got me thinking about this episode, Total Recall. I do like that intro, really sets it up doesn't it? And that, that's a good image. For such low colours, that's a good image. And it, it really ties in with the film as well. Wow, we can get it on VHS! <laughs> Let's go. Okay, this game is your kind of classic platformer run and gun platformer um the only difference is that uh you don't really have much of a gun Let's scroll through that a bit faster now i do really like the graphical style in this these goons they just want to punch you in the face and like that These guys want to shoot you, but you've only got limited um, bullets. You can see in the left-hand side there, I've only got seven bullets, and that's no good. So it's really just a case of you try and run away from everyone all the time. I quite like the uh, the character for, for Quaid in this. It's uh, Obviously, it's quite small, you know, it's much smaller than the Red Heat guy. They just want to punch your face off, jump over him. I don't know how much I'd lost actually. 
Okay, I've got quite an entourage now. Yeah, that will only go down. Oh. But he's a tough one, isn't he? Yeah, get some of my health back. Stops there, that's handy. Handily, they turn around and then you can shoot them in the back. I do like the way the um, cartridge case is. drop as you fire. Um, I've never got beyond this level. This is actually the furthest I've ever got on it. So, um... You have to excuse me. It's, uh... uh I'm not going that way. I think it's always best to stick with the lifts on this. My health is not good at this point. Look at that. Before he goes off screen. Don't punch me! I don't have the health for it. I like the music, I like the graphic style. Um, it's, you, you're feeling like, yeah, they just dropped. You're feeling like you are hunted in this. Oh. But it is tricky. It's very tricky. It's, it's very much a, uh, a memory game in that you need to know which lifts to take, which directions to go in. You need to conserve your ammunition. Yeah, total recall everyone. So that was an interesting selection of games. Um, they were all unique. You know, I don't think one really was the same as the other. It wasn't a case of well, let's produce an Arnie game and use that engine for the subsequent releases. Um, some are better than others, some are much better than others. Uh, I'd say Predator uh, and Running Man are probably the bottom end of the scale. You might have got that impression when I was playing them. Um, Predator is very much a case of one of those earlier Amiga games where they didn't really know what to do with the hardware. Um, it's, it's slow, it's ugly. Uh, it's got some nice features in that, you know, they, they've got stuff from Predator actually in it, so that you you know you've you've got the targeter that follows you at certain bits, and it seems to follow the storyline in some way, shape, or form. But it's just it's it's too ugly. <laughs> even even the title screen doesn't have proper Arnold Schwarzenegger on there. That's probably a rights thing. I can fully understand that. Running Man. Now that's a, a Grand Slam game. Grand Slam tended to do budget games anyway, um, so I'm quite surprised they got it in the first place. That intro. Wonderful, wonderful piece of work. Um, really like that. Um, and they've got Arnie's likeness in it, so we've got that. But the game itself, um, the control of the character is just appalling. Um, <laughs> that was the furthest I'd ever got on it, and frankly what I was showing you was as much a surprise to me as it was to you. Um, getting the character to run, it's kind of a double tap to one side and then of course a dog appears out of nowhere and then you've got to kick its face off and then you've got to carry on. It's just very uninspiring and um, you don't really have much control over your character so it really feels like a chore. Now Red Heat on the other hand, that's I was more impressed by that than I thought I would be. You know you've got you've got big sprites on screen, you've got that, that letterbox effect that actually makes it feel, feel kind of film-like. Um, so, you know, as a game to play, not necessarily that great. Um, would I say it's the Jim Belushi of games? Possibly not. That, that, that's the Running Man game. Um, but um, it's worth a go, I think. You know, I'd, I'd like to see further levels, explore it a bit further, see, see um, where they take it, whether it's still just that kind of sideways beating up kind of thing. There, in fact, that's exactly how it looks, doesn't it? Maybe I'll sit further away and we'll, we'll just do this. Um, <laughs> Terminator uh, 2 Judgment Day. Um, amazed by how smooth that game is. Um, very surprised. But then it was released that little bit later. Um, 
R works very nice. Um, some of it looks uh, better than other bits. You know, that, that, that first level I played where you beat up T1000, um, that had a good look. You, you know, you had the puddle effect as, as you, you smash them up. Um, then the, the John Connor uh, motorbike chase sequence, that, that's a, a bit more simplistic. That, that, that looked a bit more like, you know, Nitro Boost, something like that. But, you know, I, I appreciate they've tried different things in the game in, in the same mould as Batman the movie um, that many Amiga players have uh, enjoyed over the years. So you can see why they did it. Total Recall, I mean, I've, I've got it running in the background. Love that intro, love the music, love the art style. Um, give it a go. You know, uh, by all means, watch some long plays or something on, on YouTube just to kind of get an idea of where you need to go. But um, it's, uh, it, I think that's, out of all of them, I think Total Recall's the one that I will return to. Um, it's just, it's an enjoyable game and I, I, think, I think it's probably the most rewarding of them. So, thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I have really, uh, really enjoyed discovering some of those Arnie gems. <laughs> I played them so you don't have to. Um, if you've got any ideas or got any comments about the channel, then please put them below. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.